What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here bringing you a video that I'm kind of fanboying over just a little bit because it's something from my computer that I have never personally owned myself. And that is gonna be some custom sleeve cables to just complete that complete custom ensemble that's inside your computer. But before we get to that, don't forget guys, Jay's Two Cents.com is a real thing now. So head on over there and register today. But we're gonna do a couple things with this video. We're gonna not only show you the cables and the quality, who I got them from and how much they cost and stuff like that, but this company also sent me like an entire kit of how to do cable sleeving yourself. And I'm gonna show you guys just how involved it really is to do something like this to your cables. And holy shit, is it a lot more involved than I ever, ever thought it was. All right, so first things first, guys. When it comes to these cables, I got these through a company called Lutro Customs, and a lot of you uh, seem to have actually heard of this company because I did a tweet and you guys are really excited, like, holy crap, we love their work. And so do I. Man, I'm telling you right now, you may be surprised, but I've never owned custom sleeved cables like this. I mean, they just give your system that complete look. I mean, you guys saw my cables before and all of you guys said, wow, your cables really look like crap considering how much work you put into your computer. So I wanted to change that. And I contacted these guys and not only did they you know, put together this custom sleeve uh, set for me, these are extensions, they also sent me a whole bunch of product to kind of show you guys so that you can understand the level of quality that goes into their work so that you can know that when you order through them, you are getting something that is pretty much unique to you and your needs. So I went with the complete extension kit, which is the 24 pin extension. I've got two times um, PCI Express extensions. You've got eight pin EPS power for your motherboard, which is this guy right here. And eight pin power for your motherboard and your PCI Express are not the same. So make sure you note that when you're ordering these, don't just order an extra eight pin for PCI. It's not gonna work. Now, when it comes to the cable quality, um, Lutro Customs, the owner, his name is Mike, and he basically goes out and he just kind of scours the internet to find the best quality products that he can, and he's always finding new suppliers and always increasing the quality of his, not only the cable that he uses, but the sleeve, the connectors, and everything just feels extremely sturdy. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and talk about my cables, and then we'll talk about what you guys can get from them if you decide to go through them for your custom sleeving. Now these are extensions, as I mentioned. However, you could give them the specs of your power supply and they can uh, basically, if it's modular, they can create an entire cable set so you can ditch the stock cables and go ahead and go with full sleeved custom cables if you wanted. I didn't go that route because as you guys know, I change my stuff out all the time. So I wanna maintain the look without losing the custom cables because I changed my power supply. Now, the 24 pin on mine, you can see he went with a black and then kind of a graphite and then a yellow graphite black, graphite yellow black, graphite black. So I wasn't sold on the graphite at first. I'd seen it in pictures, but I was thinking to myself, wow, is it really gonna look all right? And trust me, it looks fantastic. I just, it, it looks so much better than if they had just been black, yellow, black, yellow. So he really knows what he's doing with that. But what I love about this company is you can get pretty much any color of the rainbow in any color combination you want. Now, when you order through them, it does take about two weeks for them to process your order because everything is made by hand from scratch. Now, one thing you may also notice with my cables is that there is no heat shrink on there. This is a heat shrinkless design, which looks extremely clean. Now, there's one other thing I really wasn't expecting when it came to their cables that is a definite bonus, and I wanna point that out. You'll notice all their cables have a natural curve to them. And the reason for that is they've gone ahead and made the inside line of cables shorter than the outside line of cables. And the reason why you do that is typically when you install these, the cables are gonna curve around somewhere. And they know that you know the orientation of the pins or the plugs, the connectors are always the same on, on motherboards and graphics cards. They're always oriented the same way. So they can create that curve. That way as they bend, you can see the cables stay together. They don't flare out or fan out. The problem with when you go with something like this, which is a, like a $10, you know, already sleeved extension that you can use. One, you can see the heat shrink on there is just completely ugly. I mean, look at that. The heat shrink is not all the same length where they cut the sleeve on there. It's not all the same. It's all, I mean, it kind of looks like a 
freaking test pattern or something on there. I don't know. But as you can see, when you straighten out Lutro Customs cables, you can see that the outside cables are longer, giving it that curve. Now watch what happens when I make the curve on the ones that are all the same length, like this one here. It makes the curve, but you notice how they all fan out? Have we, we've all seen those custom cables in people's builds where they kind of look like this fluttery, fanny mess of cables. Well, you don't get that with Lutro Customs because they have gone the extra mile to properly lengthen these cables so that you get a nice curve and they stay together. One other thing that these cables have are what they call their stealth comb. And basically, so that you don't get this mess right here, how everything's just kind of like, you know, moving around in there. They have these combs on there. There's just basically little pieces of plastic. They get threaded onto the sleeving so that everything get, stays together nice and tight. Now you don't have to leave them in the middle where they show because I kind of don't like that. You can push them off to the sides and that's why they're called stealth because they go up against the connector and you don't really see them. But you can see they allow you to, if your cables sort of get messed up like that, you just run the comb through them Literally, it's like combing hair. You just go back and forth on it. And then everything is back in place again. Now, it works really well on the 24 pin. Unfortunately, they're really fragile. And I broke a few of them on my 24 pin when pushing it through the grommet in my 900D. So you want to be mindful of that. I only have one on here that works now. But because only that much of it shows in my 900D, it's not a problem. Now, these are the cables that I got through Lutro Custom, but they also sell all the materials for you to do this yourself if you want. So let's go ahead and show you guys the materials that are involved in doing something like this so that you can just appreciate the amount of work that is involved with custom sleeving. Now, as I mentioned, there's a lot of tools involved in doing this. In fact, these are all the tools involved. Yeah, it was a little bit overwhelming when I opened the box too. And I say that with a little bit of disappointment because quite honestly, I thought it was, oh, cut the cable, crimp it on, slide on the sleeve, plug it in, bam, move on to the next one. Let's take this for, for instance. There's 24 wires in this one extension cable. Now, it took me when I was practicing this about five attempts and probably 15 minutes before I got one cable that looked anywhere near acceptable to this. In fact, it's so bad, I didn't even, I'm not even putting it on camera. Now, could you imagine how long it would take me to do these right here? Yeah, it, I would still be doing it. I'd probably still be doing it up until retirement. So when you order custom cables from Lutro Customs, you get basically a professional that takes all these materials and creates these out of this. You have two different types of options here when it comes to sleeving. You have plastic sleeve, which is what I am using, and you can see you've got all sorts of different colors here. I mean, geez, any color combination you want. In fact, they even have color combos within a single sleeve, like this is the black and red one. You've got green and black if you want to do like an NVIDIA. But then you also have a paracord that's available, and this is apparently a lot harder to work with, according to Mike. Uh, because as you can see, it's very soft. It's like a fabric. And again, every color of the rainbow is in included in this. Uh, paracord is very similar to like the sleeving you would find on headphones or a headset or something like that. It's very soft, very pliable versus the plastic here, which is, you know, very, very rigid. So yeah, anyway, there's that's paracord. Now you do have heat, heat shrink sleeving or heat shrink tubing which is this guy here. And that's pretty much what you're seeing on the end of these cheap cables where in order to hold everything together, they just put the heat shrink over it, heat it up, it shrinks and then holds everything together. But it just really looks bad. I don't like it. In fact, if you order cables through Lutro Customs that you request heat shrink tubing on, they charge you more because there's more time involved with that. When it comes to the connectors, they use very high quality connectors, as you can see here. And I mean, they've got every connector that you could possibly need. I mean, we've got SATA, you've got eight, uh, that's a two, four, six, eight, ten pin. I'm not sure what a ten pin is for, to be honest with you. So anyway, you've got all your your pins here that you could constantly or possibly need. And you've also got available through their website all of the tools necessary. Here are the, the connectors. As you can see, I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went through eight of these pins before I figured out how to crimp it properly. Sorry, Mike, I did watch your video, but 
I'm the kind of guy that's like, oh, let's try first, watch videos later, and then ruin stuff in the meantime because we didn't pay attention to what we were doing. You also have the paracord sleeving starter thing, which makes it a whole lot easier. And then you have your pin extractors here. So what I figured we'd do is just to show you kind of how involved this is. Oh, and then of course you have your crimping tool and you have your stripper cutter tool. Then you also have this thing here, which uh, I can't remember what it's called but it assists in the plastic sleeving. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and make out of this connector right here, just a little jumper. We're gonna make a little jumper that you would use to start up your power supply. You know, if you're doing water custom or water cooling, you gotta jump your power supply to make it start. So instead of having to put a paper clip in there, you know, we're gonna go ahead and make one of these just so that you can kind of see how involved it actually is. Now, normally I would use the black cable, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the white cable so you can see it. Oh, you know what? And I it would help if I actually showed you that they use high quality 16 gauge wire um, all the way up to, or all the way as low as, geez, I don't remember how low their gauge goes, but you can select and buy all this stuff through their website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take some white cable here. We're gonna just cut off a little bit of piece, a little piece of that. And then we are going to make a little jumper so that we could start our power supply if we needed. Now, first things first, you need to strip the ends of the cable. And I don't know if they had a better stripper. They sent me two of these cutters. Maybe they made a mistake. I do have an actual wire stripper, which you put it on, pull a handle, and it strips it off. I'm just using the tools that they gave me here. You know, leave about uh, maybe an eighth of an inch on the end there. And then we won't do the other side yet. So the pin that we're gonna be using, I don't remember what the pin is actually called, but it's the one that would go in the 24 pin connector. And this is gonna be really, really hard to pick up on camera. And I'll do the best I can in B-roll. You need to use the right portion of the crimper and make sure that it's aligned properly in there so that when you crimp it, these little pins that stick up will turn and kind of crimp back on itself and cl clamp down on both the shielding as well as the, p the cable itself. This was the part I was fucking up on royally because I was just doing this entirely wrong. So the first thing you do is you find the gauge on here that matches yours. In our case, we're gonna do the, it's on here labeled as the 18 to 22 gauge wire. And you're gonna stick it in here. You're gonna stick it in. Let's see if you can even see this here. Get it lined up right on the edge right there. And then click it twice so it kind of opens up. And now it's holding the pin in there. So all you have to do now, stick the cable in there till the shielding hits the end. And crimp it down. And there you go. You have a perfectly crimped pin on the end of this wire. Now, if we were gonna sleeve this, and I'm not gonna sleeve it because this sleeving is not the right size for this particular wire, I don't think. In fact, it, it looks really big compared to it and they've already glued or melted the end, so I'm not gonna do that. So now what you would go ahead and do is do the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and strip the ends. We're gonna go ahead and now get it ready. Put it in there, crimp it down, boom. See, I'm, I feel good, at, confident at this now because I wasted an entire sleeve of pins trying to figure out how to do it. So now all we gotta do is go ahead and face this up. When we go one, two, three, four pins in, make sure the little, there's like a sled in there, make sure that's up, pointing up at the top. Shove it on in there. That's good. And measure it to the fifth pin in. Push that in there. And there we go. We have now got ourselves, there. We've now got ourselves a little power supply jumper thing. So yeah, guys, it's, it's really not that hard if you take the time to practice and do it right. But as you can see, there's just so much involved in all these different connectors and things. And the reason why I was sounded a little bit disappointed when all these tools came was because I was like, this is not something I have the patience for. And it made me sad because I realized is this is better left to the experts, quite honestly. All right, so there you go, guys. The custom sleeved cables from Lutro Customs complete the custom look for your computer. I mean, this right here just, yeah, it's just not, I wouldn't even, I, don't, I may put it in my test bed, who knows. But these guys right here, so guys, head on over to Lutro Customs. Like I said, it takes an expert to do this, but you can do it yourself if you want to. And the pricing of the materials and stuff over at Lutro Customs, 
quite honestly shocked the hell out of me because they're not nearly as expensive as I thought they would be. So what do you think about these cables? Have you ever used Lutro Customs? Have you ever seen them before? Check out their information, it's down in the description. He also has videos up showing you how to do it properly. And if I had watched those a little more in depth prior to doing this, I might not have wasted eight pins. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. Thanks for watching the video, thanks for supporting. Hope you head on over to the website. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.